Okay, so this is an unboxing for the RV. Um, so my Nexus RV, a um, lot of electrical problems. They're almost all fixed so far, and I got I've got this uh, to replace the battery monitor. Well, to add to the battery monitor is it is a uh, uh, Dorking dot com <laughs> Drocking, I guess Drocking. You know, I got a nice little um, thing here. I got this off of Amazon. Some instructions. So this on the internet, this was all in Chinese, but they redid their instructions. And you'll see it's all in English. Uh, it still doesn't, still not a great uh, picture of how you hook it up. Um, this is a shunt meter. So your negative from your battery goes to here. Your negative to your load goes to here, and then positive um, from your positive battery terminal goes here to power the whole unit. You've got two units. One is the shunt, and one is the monitor. So, uh, really good um, instructions. So they, I guess they listen because they have new instructions. Um, I've already opened this, but I'm going to show you what this has. This has um, a cable here. Um, pretty flimsy. I ordered a 20-foot cable in case I need to use it, but this does. This is remote. Um, this is the unit here. Um, if I plugged it into power, uh, let's, let's go do that real, right, real fast. going on here okay let's go here okay so here it's all plugged in um, that X in there see it says it's not connected so um, if it's wired it would be connected to the, the unit with a wired connection thing or wireless this has a wireless inside of it too and you set it up um, you set up the battery here and uh, it it has a, a place to connect a relay to it so that you could turn off the battery if you have low voltage or over voltage or low current or over current etc so this uh, I didn't get that option because I don't think I need it but um, but you could actually turn it off to save your battery, batteries. Um, I didn't order that one. It actually is $2 less than this version. I don't know why. Um, anyhow, you got the volts, uh, amps, uh, the, and then watts. And then this is a countdown of how many amp hours, uh, watt hours, and uh, etc. So um, And time that you've been using it. So this is how long it's been discharging. And it keeps track of how, long, how much. It also will tell you... I think this this amperage will be positive or negative depending on whether it's discharging or charging. And then, and of course, it's got a nice percentage there. Um, anyhow, let me take this off and we'll go back over there. I'll show you the rest of this. Um, so here's the, that's the remote. It is wireless. It's wireless to this. This is the shunt. Feels kind of heavy. Um, So this is the shunt, so I guess what you I guess what you do is you put your negative terminal here and your load here. I'm about uh ten percent sure. But we have destructions here. I will show you guys this installed. So yeah, um, here's this first picture. Okay, yep. So your your battery uh, negative goes to this one, and your uh, your load negative goes to this one. So the power goes through this whole unit. This first 
wire here uh, goes for a positive because this all has to be uh, powered. Um, <clears throat> if you want to put it in the cable, you put it the other side of this in here. Um, I don't want to do that. Hopefully it hopefully it works through the walls and to the battery compartment. Um, yeah, just plug, uh, just, this is kind of flimsy plastic, so you can't over tighten these, but I'll put, probably put a screw in here, in here, and put it on the battery wall so it's out of, out of the rain and everything. Um, and then, uh, that's this. Um, they have... A little DC connector if you don't connect this has, still has to have power even though it's remote you just have to take this off and then plug this in here and then it'll come out this hole and uh, these these wires will go to a DC um, DC power so I'll take it off a light or something so that will go through there and then this will go in, inside and that's the unboxing of this uh, which I could tell you what the name of this thing is. It's it's got such a big name. It's the multi-functional -func meter measures DC voltage, current, power levels, charge and discharge, capacity, wattage, time, and other physical qualities. It has protection against overcurrent as well as over and under voltages. Um, uh, protection and uh, time-limited protection by uh, setting the parameters. The meter is suitable for monitoring output voltage, current, battery charging, and discharging. So it's going to monitor everything. It's going to, um, the one that Nexus gives, and basically almost all of them gives, is a little push button that has a little LED light that says it's half full, mostly full, whatever. That's not that that's not accurate. It's it's zero percent accurate actually, because it doesn't know what type of batteries you have. It you, it's not calibrated. This thing will calibrate itself. Um, uh, so, you know, that's my unboxing. And I will show you it installed in just a few days.